turn them upside down. Let the petrol go everywhere. Is there anything I can catch my petrol in? I want to get my carburetors off, so now I've got to take that plastic off. But I can't take that plastic off until I've taken that sissy bar off. And when I take the sissy bar off, I've got to take the seat off. Then I can take that off, and I can take that off, then I can take that off, then I can take that off, then I can take that off, and then I can take those out. Didn't have to take the seat off like I thought. Just had like little bungs there to push them in and a couple of fixings. I'm just taking this off, just undoing the final bolt. Get this out of the way. Lift off like so. And then I've got to get the air filter off. Do all the clamps on the carburetor roses, air filter hoses, slacken them off. If you can see down there, because I can't. Slacken it off as far as you dazed. That's it. Pull these pipes through. It should just pull out. And there's a bottom hose connected to it. Can we see it? There it is, look. Off. Take the top hose off. Just squeeze the clump together. Break the seal. And it should just well, come off the other end anyway, hasn't it, you div? And just chuck it on the floor like so. Stick your pipe back on. You don't want to lose that, do you? Stinks of petrol. Oh, can you smell that? Oh, it smells lovely, don't it? Been starting this bike, I've noticed. If you can see that, the starter motor. The starter's been jamming. I'm going to have to investigate that as well. So I'm going to have to get the starter motor out. Might need another starter motor or something more serious. So anyway, here's the carburetors. They seem a little bit dirty, but not too bad. Where's the pipe? What was the fuel was coming out of? fuel was actually coming out of this pipe. Down here. Fuel was leaking out there. So where does that pipe go to? Can you see it? There. Oh. So there must have been overflowing in the bloody filter case then. Why would petrol be overflowing in the filter case? 
looks like that's the wettest one, so it's that one, isn't it? So it'll be carburetor free that has had fuel going into there. So of course, fuel's been coming out there, into there, where I leave the petrol tap on. So the carburetor's obviously been flooding. coming up and into there. So it must be going in there as well. <laughs> so is that the starter motor locking up or is that the pistons locking up because they can't compress fluid if they're full of fuel can they? Oh dear. I don't know if that's an issue with this bike. I know it is with the RX 1000 carburetors flooding so it goes into your chamber piston comes up squashes the petrol and snaps your engine bends your con rods whatever it wants to do Hope that's not the same thing on this I don't know OK, so I've undone my carburetors, I'm obviously going to have to remove them because number 3 carburetor is obviously overflowing. <coughs> and that's them removed. So if that's been overflowing, it's got no overflow on it. The petrol's been going down there and into the cylinder. why it sounds like the starter motor is jamming up because it's not jamming up it's the engine that's jamming up because you cannot compress fluid so that's what happens with the RX1000 GPZ RX1000 same problem only that ends up bending your convolts and snapping your starter chain and stuff like that Ripping the teeth off your main shaft. What your timing chain goes around. So, let's take the bowl off. Turn them upside down. Let the pet and that's my offending carburetor, I think. Those out. So let's try to undo the screws on number three carburetor. Oh, one. Oh yes, two. Sometimes they can be a nightmare to undo, but these wasn't too bad. Get your screws all the way out. Obviously, try not to lose them. Lift off your bowl, and that's what it looks like inside. I must admit, it's nice and clean. It's very clean in there. It's very, very clean, Mister. Okay then. So there's the needle jet. We have to take it out and uh, see if it's worn.